Alright guys, this is Iceman 3rd ID again. I uh, wanted to make a, uh, uh, an essential beginner's guide to world tanks. This is just the tips that like every world tanks player needs to know in order to be a good, at least be on the same level with all the other world tanks players out there that have been doing this for a while. This is going to get you to speed, up to speed, and you're, you're not going to have to figure this out on your own. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, the three major settings options that you need to have set up on your on your account. Consumables, ammo storage, tank equipment, experience farming, and being a good player, and World of Tanks, uh, the World of Tanks console companion app. All right, well, let's go through the first thing, the three major settings options. We'll go ahead and go into a, a uh, multiplayer match so I can show you these. These are going to make all the difference in the world. When you first start out, you've got a map, and it, in the bottom right-hand corner, it's a circular map, and it's ridiculously, it's ridiculous in the fact that it's it's horrible. It's just a horrible uh, mini map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the mini map a full mini map. Why I chose the tank destroyer is one of the settings is going to be hull lock, and I'll show you what hull lock does. And it's very important if you've got artillery or tank destroyers. Tank destroyer is not as much as artillery. Artillery definitely is important. You need to have hull lock on. And I'll, I'll show you how to do all that stuff. As soon as we get into this match. I guess we're going to Komar and going to a team destruction match. And I'm going to try to die as quick as I can. Now see, on the right hand, bottom right hand corner, you've got a round mini map. And that it's a horrible mini map. I mean, it turns when you turn and everything else. What you want to do is press start. Go to options, go to game. You want to toggle uh, toggle mini map. Now watch what what that does. It gives you an entire mini map. The same one that you get when you go right here is the same one you've got right there. Now look at that. Look how much better that is. Now you see how my tank every time I turn my tank turns. I'm not doing that. I'm not I'm not moving the hole manually. It's moving automatically. So. In order to keep the see when you zoom in you your whole lock stays on right I can I can only go so far in the bottom right hand corner you can see my my uh, firing range or my my firing my rate of fire my range of fire turns orange when I hit the edge of it now when I do that here it just turns my whole tank now that's going to bring you out of cover though. See if you've got a camo net, which is turned on right there, that's going to turn your camo net off every time you move your hole. So instead, what you want to do is go to options, go to TD start hole lock on, artillery start hole lock on, so you don't ever have to worry about it. And All right, so now let's talk about uh, your consumables. All right, we'll go over to supplies. Under consumables, what you always want to have on every tank, and unless you really want to spend some money, what you want to have on every tank is a small repair kit, a small first aid kit, and a manual fire extinguisher. They cost 3,000 silver each, but if you really need one in a pinch, you need to have it, right? Your uh, small repair kit is going to re repair any damage module, but it only repairs one, so you gotta you got to pick through it and then repair it. Like if you're if you're if you're tracked and you need to get out of dodge, you can repair your track and get out of dodge. Small first aid kit heals an injured crew member, so it can revive a dead or injured crew member, but it can only do one. It doesn't do the whole crew. Um, so if if your uh, if your you know loader is out and it's taking forever to load around and and you really need them up, you can use that. And then. They only resupply whenever you use them, so it doesn't cost you 3,000 silver a match if you don't use them. However, if you do use them, it costs you 3,000 silver to resupply your tank with the with the used things. So you got a manual fire extinguisher right here. Obviously, that puts out fires. Now, how you use them is is right here, underneath the equipment and customized right here. You've got consumables. Uh, square is the left slot, triangle is the middle slot, and circle is the right slot. And you can use those. If you're on fire, press circle, bam, you're not on fire anymore. All right, now let's look at uh, ammo sto storage. Now, the thing people don't know about ammo storage is, is that the more ammo types that you have in your tank, the more 
the more the enemy has a chance to hit you right in in one of your ammo storage spots so it behooves you to find your best ammo for for your gun that you've got on your tank and then buy all of that so just carry one ammo type because if you carry all three ammo types it's going to be stored in three different spots in your tank so the enemy has a three times more chance of ammo racking you and blowing you up in one shot if you've got more than one ammo type so always keep it to one ammo type if you got if you got a derp gun uh, which is a really high caliber howitzer put it on high explosive if you've got a long barrel with uh, high muzzle velocity um, an, uh, an armor piercing round is the right round to use for that so whatever whatever gun you're using pick the right round for it and and just stack up all of that on there okay that's going to keep you from getting ammo wrecked then you've got tank equipment now I've got about three different setups for my tank equipment right now this stuff is really expensive like these these are like 500,000 silver each but the great thing is all, all you have to do is spend everything except for the camo nut the camo nut's free um, but everything else if you want to take it back off your tank and sell it you can and you get all the money back for that. So if I spent $500,000 on a large caliber tank gun rammer, I can sell it and get $500,000 back. The only stipulation is, is that you have to spend 10 gold in order to take it off your tank. So if I spend 30 gold right here, I can get my $1.5 million that I spent on here back. And so I can get all that money back. And I only use 30 gold to do that. And then I can go ahead and put equipment on, on my other tanks. Let's find a uh, tank that doesn't have all of its equipment. This KV-13 doesn't have all of its equipment. So right here, go to your empty slot, and you can see all the different things that you've got right here. Right? What you want to do is find three things that you want to put on your tank that's that's going to work for you. It's going to work for your play style. It's going to work for your tank. Generally, what I do is on heavy tanks, I will run a spall liner if they're a slow tank I'll run a spall liner because artillery likes to likes to hit your uh, likes to hit your tank if you're heavy and you're slow because you got a lot of hit points and you're slow you can't really get away what it does is it reduces 30% uh, it adds 30% to armor protection from ramming and explosions 30% chance to protect crew from cr critical damage so that means if an artillery round hits you 30% of that explosive damage is going to be absorbed by your spall liner uh, large large caliber tank gun rammer that's going to decrease your loading time by 10% and then that way if your gun takes a really long time to load it'll it'll decrease that a little bit then you've got enhanced gun length drive and that what that does is it takes your reticle and makes it smaller faster after you shoot so every time you shoot your your circle reticle ha widens out and then comes down again and that's going to make that reticle come down again so you can take your next shot at full accuracy uh, that's what I usually do for heavies what I do for mediums is usually a uh, camo net and what that does is it, it adds 25% uh, camel rating to your tank like this. What's the camel rating on this tank? The you know, it's not gonna tell me is it? Oh, that's awesome. It's not gonna tell me what my camel rating is. I Know oh, yeah, it is average average it's got a camera uh, on the on the right hand side You can see look it says camouflage average camo rating Well, if I put a camo net on there, it's going to increase my rating by 25% every time it turns on but I have to keep my hole still in order for that to happen for 10 seconds and then it it increases my camera rating now if I'm behind a bush that's another 25% so now I've just added 50% onto my camera rating and now if I've got a uh, camo on my tank when you go to customize camouflage that adds another 10% to that so you can add up to 60% to your tank just by having a camo net being behind a bush with camo on your tank it makes it 60% harder for the enemy to see you and that means you're going to get the first shot on that enemy more times than he's going to get the first shot on you as long as you stay well hidden <coughs> excuse me um, now as far as experience goes here's how you take the game that wants to put a carrot in front of your face and say no you know what I'm gonna use this to my advantage and I'm gonna do this my way alright this is gonna help you be a better player it's gonna up your stats 
So if you go to your stat screen, um, you can see all your kill to death ratios and everything else with this. You know, uh, you can see every tank. It's going to give you your stats, right? If you want to keep good stats, if you want to, if you want to be a better than average player, you need to stay in these tanks longer. Don't follow the carrot up the tank tree, right? Don't follow the carrot up the tank tree faster than you have to. If you look at these, right, they all have these um, upgrades, right? And each upgrade, think of it like a transmission. Your stock tank is first gear, right? That's the slowest that you can go as far as gaining money and experience. Once you go up to your second gear, or your, yeah, once you go up to your second gear right here to, to your next um, upgrade, that's like putting it in second gear. Now you're getting experience and money a little bit better because you got a better tank, right? third gear, fourth gear, and then once you get it topped out, all uh, there's an experience boost for your crew, and now you've got all of the upgrades, your tank is as good as it's gonna get, and then once you elite it, you get extra experience for your crew, right? So your crew's gonna get experience faster, and why that's important is, is because each crew over here in the uh, bottom right hand corner you see you can put skills on each crew like this AT25 I've got three skills on this crew right here I'm working on a fourth one and this is actually my best tank and a lot of people don't like this tank but the reason it's my best tank is because I've got a crew that almost has it's uh, my crew's all the way topped out it's got three skills and I'm working on a fourth one right and I stay in tanks longer you can move you can move uh, crews from tank to tank right so once you get a skill maxed out on one crew move it up to the next tank uh, once you get to about tier five it becomes advantageous for you to do that um, and then uh, something else you need to do in order to keep track of your stats is download the world of tanks companion app for on your phone and it'd be real easy to just keep track of all the stats and and that's how to really be a better player. That's going to make you a better player on the field of battle. And you're going to have a lot better games. You're going to have a lot more fun with the game. Uh, knowing that, okay, I'm on the same level as everybody that's been playing this forever in a day. And that's going to get you started. All right. Well, this has been Nice Man Third ID. Look, if you like the video, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, leave me a comment in the in the comments section and tell me give me a, a little bit of feedback on on how i did if you want to see more how-to videos put it down in the comments section and i'll see if i can't make a video about it anyway thanks peace out